the plus size community are having a conversation a very interesting conversation on tiktok which has turned into in fact everyone's conversation at this point it all started when this popular creator who goes by the name fanita made a video calling out brand but that video seems not to sit well with another popular creator male creator in this case who goes by the name leo Fanita had posted a video calling out brands, talking about how brands don't make beautiful clothes for plus size and how the ones that even try to make clothes for plus size use the ugliest of the ugliest material to make the clothes and then come back online and complain that they are not making sales. She made that video and few hours after, the other creator who goes by the name Leo made a video talking about it is so wrong for people to be calling out brands for not making clothes in their size it was a bit fat shaming in his video and a lot of people are coming at the fact that you have once been fat like why are you shaming people for their size he made a video talking about how it's so wrong to call brands out because they did not make a specific thing in your own size like you might as well just go and get from the people who make from your own size maybe they have a preference he said in his words he said it is okay to have a preference maybe you're not their target audience and that was his response to Fanita's video and that video started going viral you guys already know how the conversation of inclusivity goes and people are so angry at the point that he made especially coming from the fact that it was once big talking about how the clothes is not flattering on you because you need to lose some weight i have put together the two creators video so that is what we are going to be checking out now before we now go into what the people have to say about leo's response to fanita's video and i want to know as well do you guys think it is wrong for people to call out brand for not being inclusive so let me hear your thoughts in the comment section and without wasting much time let's get right into it the reason your plus size clothing isn't selling is because your clothes are ugly as y'all take the ugliest fabric known to man and make that shit a goddamn blouse nobody wants to wear that ugly ass shower curtain you call a shirt and i'm being dead fuck serious and just because a girl got a little bit of meat on her don't mean she want to wear that shit either and y'all do this shit on purpose so then y'all can use it as an excuse well our plus size clothes don't really sell i don't i don't really know what the problem is yeah because it's fucking hideous bitch. <laughs> if i'm gonna keep it a stack radical idea but if you made the same clothes that you made for straight sizes and plus sizes, I don't know, maybe that revenue would be a little bit stronger. Hmm? Maybe somebody would be willing to purchase and put their mother car down. But nobody wants to wear a leopard print blouse at the fresh age of 21. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't nobody want to have on zebra print and tropical island prints. And that's why you sustainable clothing bitches can kiss the crack of my black and that's why I'll never in my life talk down on Fashion Nova because when I was a big body Benz, please don't crash, they held me down. They Y'all can say what y'all want about fast fashion. They hold the big girls down, but y'all skinny bitches don't give a fuck because it don't concern you. You can walk into any store and get anything you want and you don't give a Let me just go down to my local Goodwill and try to find some vintage Chanel in a 3X. <laughs> Do y'all hear yourselves? <laughs> Truly. If you wear a size 2, don't say shit to me about sustainable clothing. No shade. <laughs> All shade. A brand not making your size in something does not give you grounds to talk shit and degrade the brand. Brands are allowed to want a certain look and image with their products. They are allowed to make things for the people they want to make them for. I've been seeing too many people talking shit recently and it's pissing me off. People are allowed to have preferences and brands are allowed to create an image with what they want and have a specific type of person wear what they have. Not everybody needs to be catered to by everything and everyone. And this is a lesson I had to learn when I was fucking fat. I used to think clothes just weren't flattering. No, babe, the body wasn't fucking flattering. But a lot of brands don't make my size in a lot of shit still. And if a piece of clothing is not flattering on you, it doesn't mean the item or product is not flattering or is not good. It's not made for you. I'm a size 16 shoe. A lot of brands don't make my size. Do I waste my time and lend my energy and focus to what I don't want and what I can't have and attacking brands for not making my size? No. 
Every single human being is very powerful. You have to be careful with where you put your attention and your focus. For you to stick your attention and your energy on what doesn't work for you, what is not made for you, and what brands don't want you to wear their you're never gonna have mental space to think and look for and discover brands that are made for you. You can't keep focusing on what you don't want and find what you do want. Get your attention off of the shit that's not for you and the things you don't like. I'm never gonna find my size in shoes that I like if all I'm doing is sitting here crying how most brands only go to a 13. Um, I'm gonna go buy the shoes that go to my size. But key point here, if my focus is nothing but stuck on the brands that don't make my size, I'm gonna feel nothing but frustrated, irritated, singled out, and pissed off. That's a waste of your energy. Being a human being is a very valuable experience and it's a very precious thing. Don't waste your time on the shit that's not for you. Don't let useless nonsense irritate you. I know social media has a big mental illness of its own. With contributing to people lacking perspective of what really matters, clothes not being in every single person's size is very, very minute and a very minuscule thing compared to what else is going on in the world. Maybe go the side and go experience some real contrast and see what other people are really dealing with and living with and you might be a little more appreciative of your situation and the fact that you can go find other shit that does fit you. Brands are allowed to do what they want. I'm not saying they're right or wrong for discriminating. They're gonna do it. You bitching about it is gonna do nothing but ruin your emotional state and your mental state. That's what I wanna protect you from. I gotta be a little harsh with you because I love you. But get your focus off the shit that ain't for you so you can find what is. That was what Leo said in response to the video that Fanita made. And I would like to hear what you guys think about his response. I have seen a couple videos from Leo and I can say that he does have some great points sometimes. But I feel like um, maybe he did not think this through or maybe the presentation of what he has to say is wrong. I feel like there's still a way to pass this message across. People are so pissed at what he has to say in response to what Fanita said. Like... For someone who has been so big and as a white queer man, you are here telling people they are wrong for complaining about brands not being inclusive. Like, think about it. You need to have the entire audacity in the world to tell people that they are wrong for complaining that brands are not being inclusive. So I am going to roll the clip. Let's hear what the people are saying and how the people feel about Leo's response to Fanita's video. A brand not making your size in something does not give you grounds to talk shit. So I had the unfortunate experience of watching your entire video, and might I just say, let's just talk about how fucking privileged this shit is. Like your response to businesses being called out for being discriminatory and rightfully being held accountable for being discriminatory because it's not like they're lying. They're not attacking or harassing because they're not lying. They're telling everyone, hey, this business is quite literally just being discriminatory which you admitted they are. And your response to that was, oh, just go somewhere else? The reason that so many plus size people are talking about it is because it is a systemic issue in the industry. A majority of businesses do not have clothes for people like them, which is why they are talking about it and calling out the businesses that don't. So yes, they are allowed to talk about how this business has excluded them. Like, what? What does this take? It's like, oh, yeah, if a business excludes you, just go to a different business. <laughs> oh, it's a systemic issue? Well, suck to suck, I guess. Maybe you just don't need clothes. Maybe have you considered that people are dying? You should just love yourself. I understand, as a balding white man, a lot of things are already catered to you, but this is how queer, BIPOC, and a lot of different people have gotten these sorts of things. This is how they've gotten makeup brands to actually start making things in darker shades. This is how they've gotten people to make disability wear by being loud and speaking with your fucking wallet and saying, hey, this brand is shitty for people like us. Let's go take all of our money elsewhere. So that brand will look over there and say, damn, I could have gotten that money, but I didn't. So let me go actually reconsider what they were saying. So no. A fucking brand is not exempt from criticism or people holding them accountable for being discriminatory just because they had a specific brand in mind. Brands are there to make money. That is what they're there for. They are there to make money and sell clothes. And if they don't do a good job of selling clothes, then what the fuck are they there for? 
A brand not making your size in something does not give you grounds to talk shit and degrade. That's called a review. That post got over 4,000 likes. Let's hope this one gets a lot more. But that is called capitalism. That is called free market, free speech. And if a consumer does not like the fact that a brand does not carry their size, they're allowed to voice that displeasure. And you have over 4 million followers. And you have less sense than God gave a rock. Bless your heart. Because if somebody who's of a larger size finds out that a certain brand does not carry their size or their sizing for larger sizes does not fit them, they're allowed to voice that displeasure. So other people of that same size can know to avoid that brand and converse the people of a smaller size can do the same that is called a review and in this year of our lord 2024 if a brand cannot carry sizes to fit everybody they probably should not exist yes there are nuances to that small businesses etc etc however being mad that the fact that somebody said something negative about a brand that you like is kind of asinine telling them that you should not do that when it's literally called a review honey because gone are the days that people contort and get eating disorders and twist themselves in order to fit in clothing we in our year of 2024 of our lord should be able to get clothing that fits us the clothing should fit you not you to fit the clothing like it used to be the way you talk is the old way of doing things i'm pretty sure this is rage bait honey but you are a creator of over four million followers have more sense a brand not making your size in something does not give you grounds to talk shit and degrade. I stopped following Leo a few months ago when he made that video very casually saying that transphobic ass slur and then followed it up with an apology video where he said it again. But that's neither here nor there. I unfollowed after that, so I haven't I haven't seen nothing he's been doing. But this popped up on my feed to someone else duetting it. And the take from him really doesn't surprise me at all. Um I'm not going to do too much, but it's just, I wonder whenever I hear this, people saying like, oh, a brand doesn't have to make inclusive sizing. A brand can want a certain image and like want certain people to buy it, yada, yada, yada. And all I have to say to that is why is that image and why are those specific people, yada, yada, why is it always skinny? Like, why is that? Like, answer that one for yourself. Like, if a brand only want certain people to buy it and they only want to look a certain way and that way is always just skinny you don't think that's odd you don't think that's weird like you don't like respectfully like these brands are worth millions of dollars and they don't need you to get online and be fat phobic for them like it's all right their website does it itself like you don't have to cover it for them and maybe it is like unrealistic to hope that all brands will be, you know, size inclusive. I know that that's unrealistic. They're not going to do it. It's whatever. Brands exist that will care about you and your body and care to include you in their branding. Um, it's just really, really odd that you, like, as a human being who has to interact with other human beings, um, think it's weird that people will be like, damn, like, it sucks that this brand won't take the extra two, three steps to make clothes for me because everyone should be able to enjoy clothes that should not be a hot take no matter what you look like no matter what your body type is you should be allowed to enjoy clothes like I, like and that's what this take always like sounds like to me that like as soon as you're fat like it's uh, it, like sucks to suck i guess and it's just odd it's just weird to me what do i know though <laughs> what that's not my business i guess but like i just think it's a, a it's a weird take like most of his takes, but that's a weird take. And this is a lesson I had to learn when I was fucking fat. Gay men love to do this thing where they were like fat or they were skinny and they become a bit more muscular and then their priorities and morals just change. They realize the world is actually a much brighter place when people aren't treating you like garbage because of the state of your body. And then instead of being like, that's really gross, that's really weird. I don't enjoy how perfunctory our appraisal of one another is and how it's based on our inherent mutual attraction. Instead, they go, oh my God, everyone was so right. I was so ugly and miserable when I was fat. Suddenly, Grinder is not the depressing hellscape where people lose their self-esteem because now you're getting the play that you want. Suddenly, you know, circuit parties being inherently exclusive does not deter you because you're not a part of the exclusion criteria. But it always comes crashing down when the body card declines. Do y'all remember when that Australian white boy was like, I'm confused because 
I like boy A, and he likes boy B, but boy B is not as hot as me, so why would he like boy B and not me? Like, why are they together? They have aligned themselves so strictly to this body hierarchy that when people do not abide by it, they get so confused. So one day, when Leo Skeppy wants to work with the brand, and they say, actually, you are not the body that we're looking for. You're not fit enough, or you're too tall, or you're too thin, or whatever. He might have a meltdown. Overall, a very embarrassing hot take. I need y'all to understand, like, why do y'all go on the internet and admit defeat? Imagine I said, it's okay that Yves Saint Laurent doesn't want to work with people like me. It's okay, they're allowed to think I'm fucking ugly. Why, the, why would I ever say that? <laughs> oh my god. And it's pissing me off. People are allowed to have preferences. And you know what this take gave me? This take gave me, if you want to, you know, complain about brands, you know, not having certain sizes for you, why don't you go out and lose the weight so you can fit in those sizes that the brands only have available to them, right? I don't know if this gentleman knows. The same gentleman that always recording himself after getting beat the hell up every five minutes. I don't think this man understands that um, some people can't lose the weight. Some people literally have certain conditions that make it impossible for them to lose the weight. And not everyone, good night buddy, and not everyone has the funds or the means to be able to get surgery to get that weight off of them. Yeah, I don't think, yeah, this this is one of the worst takes I've ever seen, bro. <laughs> like, like, what is your Humpty Dumpty sat on the steroids looking self was thinking making this post? Like, what? A brand not making your size in something does not give you grounds to talk shit and degrade. Why is representation and inclusivity so hard for people to understand when they're not the ones who are in dire need of inclusion and representation? This is why empathy is a skill that I think everyone seriously needs. You literally need to just put yourself in the place of someone else and you'll understand how stupid you sound sometimes. Like, think about it. And I'll use myself as an example. Imagine if I came on here and said, oh, I don't understand why black people want to be represented in movies all the time. And when they are represented, they're not okay with just being represented as something negative like a gangster or a thug. Wouldn't that be an odd thing for me to say? But I have the mental capacity to think, hmm, plus size people are saying they are represented in stores. They're saying there aren't any clothes that are made for them. And if there are clothes made for them, they're fucking ugly. Okay, let's put yourself in that place. Hmm, when I walk into somewhere, I don't see any black representation. And if there is black representation, it is putting me in a bad light and negative. If I can understand why... If I'm in the position is bad, why can you not just put someone else in that position and understand why this situation's equally bad? I used to think clothes just weren't flattering. No, babe, the body wasn't fucking flattering. I'm convinced that some of you that were bigger and lost weight completely forgot where you came from. Like, did Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones knock on the door and wipe your memory clean? Because that's the only thing that makes it. If you haven't seen the full video, the creator is talking about how people shouldn't be mad at brands for not carrying certain sizes, that brands should and can be able to curate an image that they want and have people of a certain caliber or image in their clothes. They also go on to say that if you can't find things in your size, instead of being mad, you should focus on what you do have instead of what you don't have. And they use the parallel of them wearing a size 16 shoe and not being able to find shoes readily available for them. Interestingly enough, this person says they've experienced life in a bigger body, but they must have forgotten what it feels like to go into a store and not be able to find anything that fits you. The isolation, the humiliation, the anger that you feel when you can't find clothes that you feel fit your personal aesthetic. I'm in the camp that I'm never going to beg a brand to make my size, but to tell people their anger isn't justified when brands are deliberately excluding them is wild. It's also giving out of touch because honestly, what options are there to focus on? More and more brands are reducing or completely eliminating their extended sizes or they have them online only. And what kind of shopping experience is that? If straight size people had to do a quarter of the work that plus size people have to do on a daily basis to find clothes that are cute and well made, there would be a strike. We would boycott the fashion industry completely. 
Honestly, it makes me really sad that instead of realizing the fashion industry is the problem and is perpetuating this very narrow standard of beauty, we turn it and make ourselves and our bodies the problem. The fact that we believe creative expression through fashion is only accessible to people who look a certain way is capitalism at play. Frankly, we all deserve better. Brands are allowed to want a certain look and image with their product. Interesting take, Pooh. But let me just say this. I want to start off by saying I agree with the fact that brands can pick and choose who they want their consumer to be. The same way brands can have an opinion and you can have an opinion, the consumer can have an opinion about the way they're running their brand. And when you think about it, 65% of women are over a size 16 in the United States. Yet less than 20% of brands even carry our size. So then it makes you wonder why are they going so out of their way to not include people because the issue isn't simply let me go someplace that caters to me. The issue is that there's barely any places that cater to me. Then you wonder why can't they just make the clothes bigger? Plus size fashion is a billion dollar industry. Let's talk about how the brands are also a problem. They keep faking inclusivity, putting in plus size lines, taking them out, putting plus size women on the runway, but not offering plus size on their ready to wear collection. It's clear that we affect their business, but they don't care enough to cater to us. And I completely understand you saying, like, don't dwell on it, don't lose sleep over it. But at the end of the day, we just want to look hot. We just want cute clothes to wear. So personally, I just feel like if there's creators or people in the fashion industry who are pushing towards more inclusivity in fashion, then what is the problem? Let them do the work if they want to do the work. If you personally don't care, then don't care. But I don't see a problem with other people making it their mission to push inclusivity in fashion. I really don't. It's fucking fat. I used to think clothes just weren't flattering. No, babe, the body wasn't fun. Why do y'all do this? You can't go and lose weight, especially if it's like a significant amount of weight, and then turn around and all of a sudden now you identify with your former oppressor just because, you know, like, come on. I don't know what it is. There's like such a trend of people starting off heavier gaining a following or whatever or even if they don't gain a following they've lived their life in a heavier body they lose a significant amount of weight and all of a sudden you want everybody to be just like you like since when were we not allowed to critique clothing stores for not carrying more sizes do you remember how we complained about it we Victoria's secret and now we can well more people can go in there you know like because we said something just keep saying stuff guys it's fine Ew. What do you guys think about what the whole said? Like I said earlier, I feel like Leo, like the guy saying they should go where they make their sizes and blah, blah, blah. I feel like he didn't actually think this take through before posting it. Because imagine someone struggling to find what to wear, maybe walk in the store and all the clothes are just looking very skinny, tiny, and you can't find your own size. Imagine what they have to go through. Imagine not feeling included in something that you know you need as well to function, carry on your day to day. Imagine having to struggle and pray and do mind exercise. Also, you are able to come across something that fits your body. One of the reasons why I said he did not think this true when he was talking about how it's your body that is not flattering is the fact that there are people who are of that size and not because they choose to be of that size. Some of them have health issues that they are struggling to actually get off. Like, can as well put other people in a situation even if it's not affecting us. Like one of the stitches said, imagine a lower size person walking into a store and not being able to, you know, get their size or even going through what plus people go through when they are trying to get a beautiful fitted clothes for their body. Imagine other downsized people going through that like there is going to be a call for boycotting a lot of these companies someone making a video talking about how a brand is not inclusive is not wrong because i believe it sounded wrong to him was the reason why he made that video like people complaining about brands not including them and the struggle they have to go through and how the ones that even try to include them makes the ugliest of the ugliest clothes is not wrong the other stage said as well if people are not as loud as they can be there would not even be you know this beauty industry including um concealers foundation that match black people's skin so i feel like people are allowed to talk this is a way people can get their voice out and sometimes help as well it's not even only going to help them at the end of the day when they make clothes for plus size people they are not giving them for free they still have to spend their money in order to buy the brand they are not coming out and say 
put out plus size clothing for free for us. They just want something as beautiful as the next girl. This is what they are asking for. This comment said, it is just so funny to watch a white cis man who can visually escape his queerness tell people they don't need to be included. Like, it's literally the irony of it. And I want to believe that he did not actually think this true. Like, because if you sit down and think, I'm not sure you would be pissed at the fact that people are calling out brands for not being inclusive. Another person said, also Miss Leo has fat friends that imagine him telling them that they shouldn't shop where he shops since the clothes are in for them and their bodies are not flattering. Another person said, marginalized folks wanting and encouraging further marginalization is so sad like he needs to love himself instead of wanting others to hide themselves. And that is very, very true. He just cannot tell that when he was on that bigger size, he literally hates himself but i don't think anyone is in the right position to be telling people just get your house and go you know make yourself look flattering in order for you to be able to wear a certain clothes he talk about oh go and meet the brands that produce the clothes in your size but why, why is it that the, the sizes that are always been exempted are plus size like why does it have to be plus size people being exempted in the production Another person said, not trying to be funny, but he looks like someone that used to be fat and lost a lot of weight, which is absolutely true. And a lot of former fat people are some of the worst critics. Like, why are you literally criticizing yourself? Like, why, why, are, you, why are you insulting yourself? They then realized that clothes weren't ugly. It was his body weight that made the clothes ugly to him. So how he felt when he was fat is the same thing that he's telling people, like trying to tell them that this is how you should feel and, she, and you should get something done to it. And which is not the case because there are some people who cannot lose weight. The last one I have here said, the way he said big people's bodies are not flattering speaks volumes on his self-hatred. He hates himself and lost weight for validation from others, not for himself. And that is exactly what I get from what he said. So let me hear what you guys think about what Fanita said, Leo's response, and as well what these people have to say about Leo's video. Because I can tell you, more than the stitches that you guys are seeing in this video, there are so, so many people stitching to this video and literally calling him out telling him how he's so torn deaf and giving back a net opinion on Fanita's video. So let me hear your take in the comment section. Let's continue this conversation there. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. And I love you guys.